You look across my basin, what do you see? Paradise. You see paradise. Delicious watercress, abundant from our freshwater lakes. Food, safety, entertainment, all within the confounds of our mountain base. I accept. <laughs> Except this is Remod. Much like everybody's favorite Disturbed song from the year 2000, the mod pack is very much down with the sickness. Despite the fact that we have delicious fresh foods, at least now we do, we haven't for the past four episodes. And a shocking amount of peace in our time. We haven't had that many hostile raiders whatsoever. Oh, this place is a fresh hell. This place is an actual living hell. Right on cue. Thank you, Slick. <laughs> Oh, everybody is dying. And I mean, in Rimwald, everybody dies quite frequently. Uh, but in this place, they're dying in the most painful, horrible, contrived waves possible. In fact, do we have anybody who's healthy right now? Saba, do Dr. Saba. Now, the doctor also has a, a big spiky helmet because we're the good guys. Dr. Saba has many gunshots, mangled scars, and a chronic stomach disorder. Dude is healthy. Uh, dude is also terrible, like our worst colonist I think I've had for a long time. Slick is sick. Slick is very sick. <laughs> Not just in the head. Shmeeb is healthy, at, at least on the inside. On the outside, she's a horrific mess of scars and boy of noodles. Has uh, growth in his leg so large, it's affecting his ability to walk. So overall, we're doing fine. This is actually probably the best it's ever going to be. Why hasn't he built a wall over the front end? He has 5,000 hours and he hasn't built a wall. It sure would be easier if he would. Yes. Yeah, I get it. I built the wall. I built the wall. That comment can stay behind. I really am beginning to understand quite thoroughly why no one reads their comment sections on this goddamn platform. It's the same comment copy and pasted a thousand times over. Who do wall casket? Was that borderline offensive? I worry that it might have been. Medical emergency. Yes, there is. Yeah, what's wrong with you now? I mean, besides... Well, I mean, you're actually dying. Asthma fatal. Oh, shit. So if we don't send that, you you die. I mean, that's generally what fatal means. Yes. I'm not qualified <laughs> to be doing this series about curing medical ailments. Like, what if we haven't got industrial medicine? Would we just, are we just able to send that with anything? Uh, we've, we've got many layers of mods going on right now that affect treating everything. Does he mean he's margin 10%? Blah, 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 blah. Yep, fine. That's okay. That's not going to be relevant for a long, long time. Uh, medical care. Everybody gets the best quality medicine. Except for dude. Because dude... Dude's a bit shit. Okay, Shmeeb, we dealt with the we dealt with the food issue. The, the reason I put off building that wall for quite some significant time is um we've only got one builder. We've only got one builder, and we've also that builder happens to be the same person as the farmer, who also happens to be the same person as the chef. My name is Chef. My name are also everything else. Look at Shmeeb. She is one uh, she is one stub toe off of going on a murderous rampage, my friends. But madam, you have the face of a YouTuber. <laughs> We need to build a hospital. That, that, that is very much the top priority today. So I'm, I'm going to have her grow corn rather than rice so that she doesn't spend the rest of her life harvesting that. I think, you know what, I'm going to say forget the watercress, to be completely honest with you. It's taking up way too much time to uh, get a, a, a delicious yet somewhat little pepperminty good. I've never had watercress in my life. I don't know what it tastes like. Okay, but new question. What, what, a, what, a, what are? What are stone cutting? <laughs> I mean, if I have to ask that, I feel like I've already failed. What are stone cutting? What are frogs? Right. What are frogs? What I meant to ask is why not stone cutting, but I uh, seem to have gone slightly mad. Like, give me the stone cutter's table. What do I need to build a stone? We need stone to build the stone cutter. It's cyclical. Yeah, it's cyclical. Like the torment of life. I could go and get some steel. Are you prepared for the next issue? Guess what that is? I guess who's the miner? That's right, it's Shmeeb. Shmeeb, you're an invaluable asset to this colony and it's driving me a little bit insane. What are you doing? I mean, praying, but you decided to stand in a dark room, staring at the wall. A Shmeeb witch project. Oh, I was told to look at the other chess tables. Ooh. Ah, look at that. Hang on. That's, a, that's the same one. That's the same one again. <gasps> Whoa! It's got a little drawer so you can put all your pieces in. Maybe you could even play checkers. Wow. <laughs> well, we couldn't possibly ram too many people into a bedroom. This is our mod pack with all sorts of horrible infectious diseases. Ooh. That was a masterwork bed, though. You might catch the flu and die horribly, but... You'll do it in style. Uh, I, th I think, I think, I think, occasionally, I I'm going to swap Shmeeb over to uh, Harvesting Growing Second because we've got a lot of people that can actually help out with that now, even though they are horribly slow and just horrible. Horribly horrible. I have to build many bedrooms for everybody spread out, so that's going to take a long time in its own right. And then I also have to build a giant hospital spread out so that people don't get a horrible infectious disease. 
Luckily, none of our people are infectious, although I don't trust that asthmatic. Actually gonna die of fatal asthma. Why are you- Get bed rest! Patient. Shit. <laughs> 5,000 hours. Listen to me, I barely had any sleep this week. Get out of my life. I can't attend to you. I can. I can, it was just a different option. Multiple attend options, because that's the type of room we're playing here. It's very complex. Okay, there you go. That's like almost all of our actual industrial medicine used up, though. How's the heal root doing? Does this, this, this does count as something I'm hoping we can use for some of these diseases. There might be limitations on that. Like, for example, certain bills require industrial medicine, not herbal medicine. Certain, certain other bills require glycerol medicine, which is never going to happen. <laughs> never, ever going to happen. Why is Boy of Noodles doing this? Because Boy of Noodles has nothing else. I remember, we need to build another research bench. It's queued up. It's queued up. I, I cannot move any faster. Oh, this is painful. Research finished battery. There we go. Next in queue, none. Right. I would like some uh, sterile materials. You might have predicted it. Well, actually, well, firstly, we've already got it, so <laughs> that, plan's, that plan's fallen apart. Or I'm way ahead of the game. Maybe we go microelectronics first. Uh, it would lead to, well, everything, because that's generally how Rimworld works. I, I mean, we would get a lot more medical stuff out of that. I kind of want deep drills. As soon as we get deep drills, we can really start building... The hospital's up, though from experience, it's very rare you get silver from deep drills. What is this? What is this? A sleep accelerator. That's good. The more we sleep, the closer we are to death. Ah, my favorite game. Vomit horseshoes. <laughs> Why are you tracking blood everywhere, fella? What's going on with that? Is it just because you walk through? Man, if that's not a fucking mood. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you could have a lot- if you're not playing this mod pack for the survival aspect, you could have a lot of fun just torturing people. I mean, that's another selling point. Only when the light has been truly extinguished from your eyes, Shmeeb, then I give you permission to die. What, what exactly are you doing? Stargazing! <laughs> Under a mountain, facing a wall, face down in the dirt. My god. Very good quarantine measures. No disease is going to get the better of us now. And how could I forget to mention it? I took all the feedback on the idea legend from episode one and changed everything. I uh, changed everything before this episode, not during last episode. So the idea legend, completely different now. I will save this and export it and make a download available somewhere so that you can download and take a look at it in more detail if you want. I won't. Let's be honest, I'm going to forget. I'll probably be asleep when this episode goes live. So what have I done? I've got rid of Blood Court and I've swapped out uh, one meme. I don't remember which one, though, for Mad Scientist. So now we're Biological Corruptor, Flesh Crafting, and Mad Scientist. I think all of those tie together really nicely for a biology-based series, right? Big... Hey? <laughs> we're big on organ use, uh, is, is what I was going to say there. Uh, Post-mortem, that's of course to do with the flesh crafter role, so we can take the organs and do other things with them. Makes perfect sense in a kind of uh, medical, slightly, slightly mad, slightly paranoid medical base. Now, I thought for clothing, having male and female clothing sets totally covered makes sense, because you think of surgeons in real life, doctors in real life, absolutely head to toe in personal protective equipment. And I love the idea of our people being slightly paranoid, about diseases. Because, I mean, why wouldn't they? They've all been affected by it in some way or another. Now, Mad Scientist makes it so that autonomous weapons are scorned. And a few of these things I've changed because, my god, this is difficult enough. I don't need them hating autonomous weapons as well. So I've said that to disapproved, and I've also given Dryads a little bit of a bonus there too, so that they are stronger in combat, so that we actually stand a bloody chance. Other than that, though, things are fairly standard. They hate tattered apparel and tainted apparel, because of course they would. That just spreads disease, right? Then I've renamed some of the roles as well. So we've got Chief Physician being our leader, Ocular Priest is our biologist, Moral Guard our psychologist, and Flesh Crafter is our plastic surgeon, because of course he is. Funeral, we've got Biological Waste Disposal, Scarification, we've got Bloodletting, and Social Festival is to summon the Granlin so that we can get access to the kind of biological aspect of the Granlin tree. And then for our venerated animal, Humanoid Paragon, the pinnacle of evolution and genetic engineering, and then Preferred Apparel is probably going to be the biggest gameplay change. Uh, everybody, again, I like the idea of them being very paranoid because this planet sucks. Everybody wants gloves, and they want uh, antiseptic bandages there uh, to coat themselves in to help fight off disease, and that's what these things do. They give a... Uh, uh, tend gain bonus and immunity gain bonus. I like the idea of our people being slightly mad. 
they're here to do a very unethical job, cure the disease by any means necessary. So, of course, they're going to be a little bit mad in the process. And we don't have Dove's bad hygiene, so they can't wash their hands. Wrapping themselves in antiseptic bandages seems like our, our second best option. Oh, sweet. One of our colonists randomly converted dude instead. What's well, quite nice. You know, when they have conversations, they try and convert them. Normally, it just ends in a mood loss or a, or a social fight. That might be the first time I think I've ever seen that work. Okay, so Dude and Saba, Shmeeb and Noodle Boy, we've got like a full squad of, 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 of people who believe in the idea legend. We can probably set up all the roles now. Now, I've changed the idea legend symbol from just a giant eye on the floor to a medium multicord or uh, an operating table because I thought that was very, very on brand. My top priority, though, still might be um, working on the bedrooms, maybe getting a hospital set up. Oh, no, is this Manhunter pack? It's Royal Ascent. Thank you. Massive. Gigantic. Huge. We have microelectronics now. So how are we going to keep the, the the speed of such developments going? That's right, my friends. We're going for a bin. <laughs> I mean, look. It's going to keep the base clean automatically. I couldn't think of anything better for a, a medical infection-based scenario. That sounds fantastic. So I moved one of the houses right out over to here. Everybody has a separate house now. I customized the idea legend to allow people to share beds because that was a little silly. I mean, they're doctors, not complete prudes. Oh, good. Right on time. It's the Curler Coalition. Hello there. Ape, together strong. Uh, Brolanga. These people seem fairly easy. Okay, I think we can deal with this. This is fine. We've actually got a lot of people right now capable of combat. Bring Boy of Noodles. Slick is re dressed for war, even though Slick doesn't have a gun. Um, there you go. Grab this revolver, my friend. And then Saba. I mean, Saba is just uh, a lunatic. I'm going to sort them by combat strength this time around, just because I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's fine. Uh, you've, you've got a gun as well. You could actually be quite useful. Dude? No, oh, dude's got a gun. Everybody's got a gun. Oh, we're ready. Do we have embrasures? That's something I should probably check up front this time. It doesn't look as if we do. That's fine. That's okay. It's meant to be a little bit harder. It's meant to be a bit more gritty. Embrage, definitely not. That is a big problem with this wall. Uh, with, with this, the enemy is more likely to just mine through the mountain. And at certain points, especially right here, it's only like... I mean, it's less than 10 blocks for them to get through. And if they open that up, we'd have to keep repairing it with our own stuff that just makes it more of a target for sappers. So it's not... I mean, I mean this wall might stop manhunter packs, but it's kind of garbage. It's kind of garbage the rest of the time, I won't lie. Honestly, I'm just going to let my people get some sleep. <laughs> By the time these people get over here, it's going to be ages anyway. Look at Sava. Absolutely insane. Assuming we survive this, the experiments can begin. We can use the Fleshcraft. We'll have to set someone up as Fleshcraft. We can use Fleshcraft to borrow some organs. We might get some lungs for... Don't tell me, Slick. Was Slick the one missing the lungs? They've all changed their clothes. I can't tell them apart anymore. Gravero, I need your lungs. I'm so sorry, my friend. Oh, God, we need to build some sandbags, don't we? Ha! Come on. Dude! What a coward. What a goddamn coward. How are they this tanky, though? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yes! Okay. They don't need to be alive, though, to gather the organs from it. I've never done flesh crafting before, admittedly. Uh, organ use post-mortem. I like that. Uh, post-mortem does mean after death, so I assume we don't need them alive. Okay, squad, let's get in some cover here. I want to be careful. It's not worth trying to get some lungs at the cost of your own lungs. That just doesn't make any financial sense. What has he got? Oh, my God, I thought those were grenades. They're just rocks. <laughs> and he just got shot in the back by his friend. <laughs> well, I don't know that they're friends. Well, it's probably safe to say that they're not friends. What is that bow? Just a short bow, like a fancy short bow. Okay, our people are fine. Haven't been hit yet. Sleep's getting a little cold. So we can wrap this up, people. Uh, whenever you're ready, we've got some jade. What is that? Jade throwing rocks. Thank you. Right in the spine. Is he fine, though? Are, are any of these people good? Sorry, I should be checking if they're also worth recruiting here. Um, I do need a mining character, but not that desperately, I think. Uh, intellectual 10... Medical 16? Okay. Um, right. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have oh, we got a spare bedroom? We don't have a spare bedroom, right? Here's what we're going to do then. Uh, let's throw down a few sleeping spots. Little Slick? No, little Saba. Capture. Uh, oh, can we tend them? We can't tend without medicine. Um, do we want you? I do like the idea of getting a miner in, but I think mining one passion five skill is not that ideal. It's better than not having one, though. Get them. And then ape, we're going to flashcraft. If ape together strong, imagine ape together with human. 
Uh, as in, like, internally. Not, like, no. <laughs> I've said some disgraceful things. I didn't mean it like that. Saba. Yeah, that's like Saba, though. Run, run, run. Tend, tend. Already tending. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 7 seconds dead. And they're already being eaten by Darkness Dementia Raven Way. Excellent. <laughs> the plus though, we might have a minor. Ah! I don't think we're going to get a minor either. Bollocks. Okay, well. No, I don't need to dress them. They're dead. Now, really, someone brought this up in the comments, and I think it's an absolutely incredible idea. Really, we should have a, a crematorium to burn the bodies. They're bio-waste right now, is what I would say, until we get ourselves a flashcrafter. So, Col who, who do we want to make what, then? So, I guess, Saba, you can be our flashcrafter. He's got the highest medical skill. Horrifying. <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. Okay, and then for our next role... Biologist is our ocular priest. Um. What about Shmeeb? Boy of Noodles, I think, has earned leader status. Shmeeb has so much utility. Like, Boy of Noodles is kind of leading from, from the rear, in a way. Doing a lot of the background research, but also is our most capable fighter in terms of melee skill. So I'm alright with that. And, you know, it was already, already called a leader beforehand, right? And then Shmeeb, you can be our... You could be our ocular priest. I like that idea. Shmeeb with the plant skill? Might be relevant. No, no, no. Psychologist. Uh, who's got a good social skill? That is Boy of Noodles, isn't it? Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a hard choice. That is a hard choice. What I should have done is given Shmeeb Colony Leader, Boy of Noodles, the... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to make Shmeeb Colony Leader. I think Shmeeb has earned it more. Then Boy of Noodles becomes the moral guide, given that he has the best social. I, it's not really relevant. It's just, you know, more thematic than anything else. There you go. And then the roles that I'm not sure what they do will give to Slick. Oh, Slick's not even our idea legend. Dude. Dude is the person who will speak to the trees. And with a name like Dude, being an expert in and in, in tree is absolutely perfect. Ocular conversion. Converts a tree. Huh. Why have... <laughs> That's from uh, Biological Corruptors. Oh, interesting. Okay. So now we can take a tree and we can turn it into one of those horrific eyeball trees from... Uh, Alpha biomes. And then Shmeeb can do the usual stuff. Saba can harvest body parts. Yeah, let's get on with that then. Because we've got a whole... Um, I mean, preferably before... Before Darkness Dementia Ravenway eats them all. Give me... Give me that. What do we do? Turn it into human meat. Um... Harvest a fleshcrafted body part from a corpse. Oh, it's under... There you go. Fleshcrafted eye. Okay, that seems good. We've got to go on cooldown for a while. So you know what? Why don't we throw all the human corpses in a freezer? We need a human corpse freezer. That's another acceptable use to place... I mean, we can either cremate them to get rid of bio-waste, or we put them in a freezer where they won't be... Where the, where the contaminants will be contained. I think that's also a safe idea. I don't know if it's medically sound, but it's good enough for me. I'm going to haul ape before someone eats the rest of him. Uh, here, come, come get ape moved into the freezer. Oh, all our crops are dying. Why, do, wait, why did you plant them if they're going to die, though? We've got smart... Smart's not on by default. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why would it not be on by default? Am I... Anyway. That's very bizarre. Why... I mean, thank God we've got enough food to get us through the winter. We've got a cat skeleton. We've got 17 goldfish. We're set. We're going to be absolutely fine. I don't think I could have possibly been more excited in my life to see bins pop up. Maybe now we've got all the important things like bins. <laughs> Maybe now we move on to, I don't know, like a multi-analyzer? That probably wouldn't hurt. Dude, make me some trees. How many trees can we get in one blast here? Uh, it's the same either way. Does this work? In effect? Oh! oh, it's incredible. It's all part of the experiment. Okay, to make progress in these things, you've got to do some weird stuff in the in the, in the process. If having a big tree made of eyeballs is how we're going to do it, then that's how we're going to do it. Okay, Fleshcrafter. Who's our Fleshcrafter again? Uh, Saba. Saba, come over here. We've got another body future. Oh, don't be sad. It will be gone soon. Oh, hearts. That seems good. A tongue? We need lungs. Really do need lungs. What was the other one? That was a leg. Oh, man. Hey, it's just occurred to me that's where I was going to build the, the hospital. 
<laughs> Classic. Well done. Excellent work. We, uh, we can replant the ocular trees. We are not allowed. Oh, god damn it. Okay. A military cook? Hello. Are you any good? Oh, they're from the Empire. We do need a chef. Oh, hello. We do need a chef. Is it worth pissing off the Empire to get a chef, though? Are they gourmand as well? And jogger. Man, they're good. Um... I think I'll take it. <laughs> ah, is this is this the right play? Who's our cook right now? We don't we don't have one. I've got Slick doing it just so that Schmeeb is freed up to do a little bit of mining. Oh man. Okay. Well, this is a horrible idea. Yeah, I'm well aware of Lang of the Fallen Empire. What choice have I got? Yes, I'm well aware the Empire are hostile. Okay. Uh, please, not please, tend. Ten wounds without medicine. What the hell are you talking about? I did all of our medicine. <sighs> Why have we got no medicine, though? We had loads of medicine. Are we not putting medicine in the freezer? Did it rot away? Oh. I'm... I, I... Well, on the plus side, we get some flesh-crafted organs. <laughs> oh dear. Oh good. That's all we managed to get. That was really worth uh, going to war with the Empire over. Fantastic. Oh no. Oh, I left the door open. Ah! That was a little bit. It's the planet. It gets in your mind. It, get, like, it gets in. It gets in your brain. As, next thing you know, you're going mad. What the hell is even that? A beetle fleet. Oh, it's an aero fleet and a beetle. And then what is that? Do you think? Can we? Can we try and ascertain what that is? Is a muffalo bear? Bearfalo? It's a muff muffalo man. <laughs> <laughs> Ski da puppy da <laughs> I'm the Muffalo Man. God, I'm so tired. Please, please kill it. Watch out for this carrier, but please, please kill it. Now, I assume this thing explodes. Do you explode, little beetle fleet? Kindness floating, hi sorry, chitinous filled, floating, hydrogen filled monstrosity that's filled. The beetle fleet wanders the land, bouncing off of objects in its path. Bounce off these. Bullets. Not nuts. That'd be weird. Wow, you guys could not hit a, the broadside of a oh, barn, dude! Ah, the muffalo is uh, kind. The muffalo is not kind. The muffalo is pissed. Well, well, let's hope Grace Iscariot isn't infectious. I mean, dude's probably dead. Brilliant. I mean, he's definitely dead if you shoot him! I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm upset. Kill the kill the muffalo man. Kill that too. They do explode. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, dude's fucking dead then, because I haven't got any medicine to tend you with. Is there any wild hill root anywhere? We could probably get away with harvesting. 99% grown. Oh, dude lives to fight another day. I mean dude's shit. So no. Oh, so I don't really care for dude, I'll be honest. Slick, go and shut the door. I mean we'll have to open it immediately again if we get another freaking raid. Terrible idea. Why do I listen to the comment section? Dude is actually fine. Okay. What well, only had a couple of bruises until someone decided to shoot him with a freaking rifle. Very much doubt the Muffalo Man has that as a feature. Oh, we can keep the spooky trees in the hospital. Well, that's nice. I mean, they might die eventually, but that's what you want to see when you're... Hello? It's one of those Phoenix Owl Cats. Well, there's something going on out there that I don't like. Uh... Yes, it is. Hey! Shut up, though. Why are you eating the... Oh. Stop eating the raw fish. Cook the fish into a meal. Make the fish into food. Dude's dead. Dude's like, actually gonna die. I mean, that's not such a bad thing, given that apparently I can't feed more than one person at a time. Infection's in his right leg. We could hack it off. Do we have the medicine? We, we potentially have the medicine. Give me that leg. We could replace it with a flesh-crafted one. This is, this is the whole point of the idea legend, right? Give me that. That's coming with me. Flesh, flesh, fl flesh crafted leg. Right leg, left leg. Give it, give it to him in his right leg. Uh, Saba, I'll be ready for some surgery, my friend. Need material. What, what material do you need? Do you need more medicine? Or well, you're in luck, because we've got plenty more. Oh, I hate you. I hate you and your ancestors. Shmeeb! When I say harvest the heal root, I want... Uh, let, let them die. Let them die. Let them die. They're unlovable. Let them die. 
if you want to do plant cutting, if we've got anyone that's actually capable of cutting a plant decently. Shmeeb and dude. Oh, good. Dude can do it. Right, you've had some lunch. Thank you. <laughs> Is that enough? Right, Saba. Uh, operate on dude. Should we wait till we build the, the hospital first? How long are you going to last? You're not. You're not. Oh, my God. Uh, we do have an operating table somewhere, though. Operating table. We need two components. Do you think we can go and get that in time? I don't think there's a chance in hell, is that 105? It gives a 5% surgery bonus. Look, by the time we get it built, he's got... I'm really glad we got that flesh-crafted heart because I can feel my blood pressure reaching levels that is very unsafe. Oh, I thought it was a raid then. It was glasses and a respirator. Uh, actually, not bad. You know what? I'll take that. Thank you. What's the respirator do? Uh, respirators filter. Well, I know, I know what it does. Okay, don't don't start. It filters the air out to prevent the user touching their mouth and nose. Right. Gives minus 70% toxic sensitivity but lower social impact. Fantastic. And then glasses. Those let you see. Uh, you lower psychic sensitivity. Hello? Providing users with some degree of psychic immunity. Right. Of course they do. <laughs> That's why I wear glasses. I don't mean to press you, Saba, but... um. A 41% infection, brother? Oh my god, Scooby. Um, if he wanted to contribute, we wouldn't leave voluntarily. Claimants have nowhere else to go. You can turn him down and send him away. However, your colonists will be disturbed to send him someone away in need. And we could keep him, and we could turn him into an ear. Join me. Oh! Joshua Graham. My brother. Oh, he's bought a hand cannon. What's he like? He's a cook! Gastronomist, academian, sanguine. Uh, artistic, medical, intellectual, actually good. Dave Scooby Davis. I never trust a man called Dave Davis. That's concerning. Give me your cooking skills. This is music to my ears. Actually music to my ears. Okay, wait, why was... I accidentally took the other person off of cooking. I don't even know how I've done that. I'm being gaslit by this game. Um, still, we have nobody good at plants. Nobody good at much. Actually, any manual labor, you can forget it. Another person good at research. I mean, we've, we've actually got a staggering amount of those. We've got, like, like, a lot of doctors now. No, don't take that off. Keep that on. That's awesome. Why are you taking it off? Why are you taking it off? No, no, no. Put that back on, you strange man. No, put that back on, you strange man. Scooby, like a, like a, like a prophet coming out of the wilderness here. Scooby with his, his ass on full display. Wow. <laughs> a coincidence that I set the Idea Legends requested clothing to be exactly the thing he's wearing? Uh, no, that's the mechanic. That's actually how it works. Well, it was just, that was just how the game works, isn't it? How are we doing with that limb? I can't believe you've done this. I mean, he was going to die anyway. We might as well have given it a shot, huh? You know what? Lock the door. We'll turn him back into a leg. <laughs> Except I'll be on cooldown by then. What a lovely hospital. We need uh, steel and silver, of which we have shockingly little of both. Fantastic. Um, I mean, look, I'm just going to plan it out. And the second we get this over, I did notice there was a little bit of silver over here. So the second we get this, we're going to we're gonna go all in. Uh, Scooby, were you good at mining? Are you are uh, our best miner. Or second best miner. Good, 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 good. Fine. Yeah, cook. Cook and mine. That's all I want you doing, my friend. Cook and mine. Actually, do you want to strip dude first? Hey, slick, come and strip this dying man. <laughs> Give me those. Those are mine now. Oh! Don't tend him. Let him die, Scooby. This is the way we do things here. I know you're new, but you need to understand. Oh, shit. Dr. Saba. What What else has happened here? Oh, it's just all the, all the, all the fighting. The infighting. You need to, like, get to bed immediately. Uh, right, this is a problem. Because if we lose our best doctor to a social fight, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'll actually cry. Um, does the operating table affect... Uh, immunity gain speed 90%. Ugh. Wow. Um, is that, like, worse than a regular bed? I mean, it was made of limestone, which is famously quite porous. Uh, yeah, it's, like, worse than a regular, regular bed. <laughs> Dude... No, I totally miss him. I miss him already. Let's let's go turn him into a oh, long prefer. Put that man down. Hey, bring him back. We don't need to worry about a crematorium or anything. We could just turn them into uh, turn them to limbs. Saba, what? I hate these people. I don't. 
I can't play this game anymore. I'm, I'm, it's going to drive me insane. I hate them. It's like they specifically wait for the worst moment to be dicks. Shoot him. Kill him. Kill him, Slick. Yes, right in the toe. If you didn't have an infection before, you will in a second, my friend. Die. Die forever. Yes! <laughs> ah, catharsis. For, for me in real life, that was, by the way. Um, rescue. Rescue. Which one of these vomit and blood-filled rooms are we going to drag him off into? Oh. I mean, this one's actually not too bad. Uh, Darkness Dimension Ravenware got a food poisoning from human meat. I won't even freaking ask. Do we, have a, do we have a spare doctor? We do. Dr. Scooby. Dr. Scooby, I get the strange feeling, my friend, that you were here to steal his job. It's okay. Your secret's safe with me because you're dressed for the occasion. Samba's dressed for the... Uh, welding. Welding limbs together. Which you could argue doctors do. You're fucking dead, aren't you? You're, like, actually 100% dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's never going to happen, is it? <laughs> well, you know the drill. Give me your shirt. Oh, he's dying with a, with a smile on his face, though. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to help the colony out. Why, well, yes, you did exacerbate the situation and make everything you touched worse. You are like the, uh, the antithesis of King Midas, Saba, my friend. Everything you touch turns to shit. Just ask dude. In fact, Scooby, would you like to be our new flesh crafter? It seems fairly appropriate, all things considered. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a complete mess. We need to convert Slick as well and make Slick the new uh, ocular expert. So let's do that very briefly. Uh, conversion ritual. Why? Ritual needs the exalted priesthood meme. Does it? Does it, though? No, conversion ritual. I didn't think it did. You were confusing me. You're gaslighting... I, 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 they wait, they wait, they wait until, they wait until I get some modicum of control in this campaign. <sighs> look at, look at the fucking mess. <laughs> it's like a Jackson Pollock painting. I need to lie down. <laughs> I think I need to lie down. This was supposed to be a fun five minute in and out romp to play some V genetics. And it's... I'm the one that's going to need genetics. I need a life support machine. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we have fun here. Well, you might. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Patrons, hello. Uh, I haven't put up the video yet about next series. You know, the one that's like definitely not Generations 2 or anything like that. Um, because I've just been like non non non-stop, non non-stop, non-sleep busy. Uh, however, I will be doing that soon. Uh, so stay tuned. Take a look at Patreon. I'll hopefully have that done by the end of today, depending on if I get this video up on time or not. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Yeah, the Patreon factions, it's done. It's set up. It's all completely automated now. Um, so when you submit a name via the name submission form, thanks to some in honestly genius engineering behind the scenes on my part, some, some very clever automation and scripting, uh, it'll add you to the game. It's, it's, I'm, I'm impressed by myself on this one. So... Uh, if you haven't found it, there is a link to that on the past post if you want to submit a name. If you've already submitted a name, don't submit another. Otherwise, you're going to the bottom of the list because it's the same list I use to rename colonists with as well. Not only do you get Raider, Patreon Faction, you also get person in the game eventually. There's literally like 400 names on there and I get an average about five current colonists per series. So it's a constant source of mental anguish and anxiety for me. So thank you. Uh, in the meantime, a <laughs> big thank you to Manganese. Secret, Boyne Gun, Chase, King Stitch Gaming, Scaps, Killer Clown, Faith, Dulcimer, Dangles, Voidless, Hoaxor, Speedy, Jimmy the Dryads, number one fan, Mr. Moosh, Mert Skirt, Highly Caffeinated Gamer UK, Methanius, and Almadel Solomonis for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this experience, because what an experience this is. This is a whole new day. Thank you to uh, Tom Segovia. Hansram, Nightwitch, Huderman, Ed Zuki, Dougie Fresh, Quivalar, Deirdre, A Quality Meme, Shatner's Bassoon, Vegan Slayer, Zega the Chaos King, Pandemic Pockies, Saltalore, Natna, Boba Bo Bo, Bo Bo Bo, and Sinker. Join me again tomorrow for more torturous Rimworld. <laughs> it's a precious, sweet, torturous Rimworld. It's nice having a series like last series that was horribly overpowered to a fault. And then this series, which is horribly difficult to a fault.